Okay, hey there Reefers, welcome back to the episode of Dreaming Reef. So for today, we will be talking to you guys about fish and the fish that we have added into the 25 Gallon Lagoon Innovative Marine. So if you guys have been watching my previous videos, right, you guys have known that I didn't really want to put much fish into this tank because for a few reasons, this is a very small low profile tank and if I'm going to add this tank with a lot of fish, right, I'm going to have like a huge nutrient problem in the near future ahead. And this is going to be a coral tank, so this is why I didn't really want to spam this whole tank with fish. So there are only a couple of things that I'm going to add into the 25 gallon. So the update for today, right, is really going to show you guys about half of the fish stock that will be going into the 25 gallon. So like all of my other tanks here, every tank in my house will have a pair of clownfish. So same for here, I put in a pair of snow castles. So snow castles are very similar to Picasso's, just that they are a little bit different. It's that they are a cross between a snowflake and the Picasso clown. So I have a pair right at the back. So I will show you guys a bit unique about this snow castle. Just let me see if I can get a closer shot on them. So this is the female piece over here. They are very camera shy right now. So just let me see if I can turn around for you guys. Yeah, so if you guys can see right, so the female is on the left and the male is on the right. Okay, now they have switched positions. So snow castles, big snow castles, right? They are Picassos. So basically they have the Picasso's colorations patterns, but then they have the okay, they have the similarity of the Picasso clownfish, but then they have the patterns of a snowflake. So just let me zoom in for you guys and let you guys have a closer look at them. So this is the little male, and then this is the female on top. So I've gotten this pair. They are not a bonded pair yet, so the female is still trying to show a little bit of aggression towards the male but then I do see that the male actually being very submissive to her and they were both living finally in this tank for I think about this week should be their fourth week together already so there's no torn fins at all, they are looking really good so hopefully they will start to be a bonded pair and then stay happily together somewhere so i'll probably give them something to host in the tank and yeah i always love clownfish hosting either an anemone an elegance something like that which will really brings a lot of fun fact into the tank so as you guys can see that they are both pretty close together once in a while they will still move apart they are not really a bonded pair yet so you see them roaming around the whole tank but they don't really chase each other, they don't really bite each other, there's no fins torn and everything, so I'm still hoping that they will pair up nicely within a month or so, and then I'll give you guys a couple more updates on this pair over here. Okay, so next over, we move on to the only herbivore fish that is in the tank, so which is my yellow tank at the back. So the yellow tank, I know that a tank this size, I shouldn't even be putting a tank but then I managed to find a very very small yellow tank which fits nicely into this 25 gallon so no worries because if, even if it outgrows this tank right, I always got the 5 feet behind me so there shouldn't really be much of an issue with tanks growing uh, too big and they don't fit, I'll just replace this tank with something else smaller and then I will move the larger yellow tank in the future to the 5 feet fish only system. So the reason why I want to put a herbivore fish in here right, is mainly due to algae control. So as you guys can see, tanks graze and graze and graze all the time. So this guy has been in here for about 2 weeks and all he does is graze and graze and graze. So he actually helps me a lot by keeping a lot of the algae at the bay is actually helping me to help with a lot of my hair algae so this guy actually does a good job in grazing all of the nuisance algae that we have in our display and I'm a huge fan of the Zebrazomas genus so I always wanted to have one in each of the tank so mainly it's the collection of the yellow, the purple, the black, the gem, the scopas 
So I'll still try to comb all five together in the display. So we'll see how with this small little yellow tag over here. Just give you guys a close up on how the small small the yellow tag is. And you can see this guy is hungry, 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 is constantly going around for food. And he's very active, he's going strong, he's eating really well with wet feet, with pellets. And regardless of what I throw in, right, they will all eat. So next up, I will actually move on to feeding. Let me show you guys on what they have been eating so far. So what I've been feeding my tank with, right, is the TDO Reef Nutrition Pellet. So this is the, the kind of food that I will usually use for my clownfish. But since this is a very small tank and I only have a pair of clowns and a yellow tank, so this is actually the main food source that I actually use to feed the fishes. So aside from that, the next thing that I fed them with, this is really mainly for the yellow tank, which is the veggie pellets. So this is what I used to throw in just to supplement the yellow tank with a bit more of the, the veggie nutrition for a much more balanced diet for him. So without further ado, right, let's start to feed our fishes. Alright, so let's give it a go and give it a try with them. So right now I'm actually feeding the TDO pellets to them. So as you can see that they go really crazy with the TDO pellets. My both clowns extremely love the TDO pellets and one thing I really like about feeding TDO pellets right, is they really help with the colorations of your clownfish. So this is one experiment that I have. So clownfish that has been eating with TDO pellets right, tend to be very orange. Like you can see over here, right, the both of them actually really looks damn good because of the nice deep orange body they have which one thing that I really appreciate on TDO pellets so we try to give the yellow tank its food right now and see its response as well so same thing we have thrown the TDO pellets in so we can see the yellow tank is starting to go a bit crazy with the food that is coming down already so yes the yellow tank do eat TDO pellets also so aside from the TDO pellets, right, we will be throwing in some of the veggie pellets right now. And you guys can see that actually zero so much, right, they are not very hard to, to get them to feed. These guys are pretty easy to feed. So there we go for veggie pellets. And we can see him starting to go for the veggie pellets. I notice that he really likes the veggie pellets or technically he actually likes almost anything so we'll see what that I've given everything to him and he's not really a very picky tank he somehow seems to be a very easy going fish and like sometimes I do get some people actually telling me that yellow tanks tend to be a bit more picky they don't really eat as well like compared to purple tanks but then this little guy here actually started to eat on the second day when I first got him home and then he has been eating like a pig all the way all the way so I don't know if I can zoom in to you for you guys but you can see him actually munching on the veggie pellets right at the back so probably in the near future ahead I will be adding in a couple of more different types of fishes I wanted something a bit more cryptic so I'll be probably adding in like maybe a Royal Grammar, a Bastler, or something to actually stay within the rock world. Because right now I've got these guys here that is constantly out. And then I wanted something to actually like, like stay within the rock works inside here, inside there, and stuff here and there. So we will give you guys another update again on how the fish are doing and whether what type of inverts that I'm actually going to put in this tank to let my clownfish host. So this is a little surprise that I will keep it in the near future for you guys on how the clownfish pair up, what are the, the inverts that I'll be using. Either I'll be putting in a anemone, I'll be using an elegance coral, we will see how it goes and then we will try to get this pair of clownfish to host something. And also we'll give a little update on the yellow tank. And as well, if we have another fish that will be going in, we will be doing another video for that new fish alone. And same thing, 
I will hope to see you guys next Sunday. As usual, subscribe to the channel, like the channel, share the channel, and I will see you guys real soon.